all right guys welcome back to another vlog right now i'm on my patio basically about to just watch some christmas movies and redo my scripture sticky notes so these were basically all on my um i had like a little board in my office but i gave it to bray because she likes to draw and so she puts like her most her most recent drawings on there um so i said i'll just make me like a little binder and basically it's just for days that you don't have motivation this is for me i can go on and read some of my favorite scriptures and just you know just for a little quick thing of motivation like this one says there is profit in hard work but more talk leads to poverty like this bible verse is really it's real and it hits home because you got to put in some work to reap some rewards and just a lot of, of my favorite bible verses but i have a whole stack here that i've been needed to do for a minute now so i'm just gonna knock it out that's what i'm working on and then you know get ready for the week so let me finish this really fast <laughs> Let Samantha, Samantha out to use the restroom. I still need to record my video for Instagram. Come on. See how cold it is. It's a little chilly, but it's okay. Because sometimes I need to start my car, which I probably should go start it. But I'm recording. Um, still need to record my video for Instagram, and then I'll be on my way so i guess i'm gonna try to samantha has this thing now where she wants me to stand outside with her to use the bathroom and i'm just like girl this ain't gonna work so i'm gonna see if i can leave her real quick and go back inside sometimes she'll stay if she really really has to go but other than that she wants me to stand here with her but she only does that with me she doesn't do it with mark when mark lets her out she goes to the bathroom and that's that. So I may have to let him do it because I actually have to go. Are you going to potty or not? Okay, surprisingly, she did not follow me back in. But I am going to go ahead and go start my car. Because it's a bit chilly. And since I can't park in the garage because oh gosh who am i talking to since i can't park in the garage because our gym 
have to park outside, which we are working on building a little, well, we want to build a little shed for the gym. So we'll probably end up doing that sometime. And I did get up and I did work out. So I had a very great workout, actually, surprisingly, because it's been like, I don't know. I worked out, it's been very sporadic, but consistently, it's been like probably two months, a month. She's such a sweet dog. Okay. That's done. Okay, you guys, I just, I just made it to work. Um, and I try my best not to vlog at work because it's just more like, um, I don't know. I just try not to vlog at work. Off with anatomy, uh, today, 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 so I have two sections of anatomy, one section of biology. Whew, y'all pray for me. My biology, my freshman, oh my gosh, there's something else. Um, but it's all good uh, right now yeah like I said just prepare for the day like I said it is I'm trying to do vlogmas so I kind of am trying to incorporate like my work routine just not too much of my work routine just because it's work and I don't I'm really trying not to blend like my own personal like goals with work you know what I mean because like sometimes I feel like you can like I don't know I just don't want to blend it too much but anyway it's enough of that i am here it's a monday it was a struggle i got up this morning i worked out but like i said i think it's been probably a month since i've been like consistent or two yeah because november was not the best either oh wait we're only in december okay so probably about a month that i just haven't been just super consistent in the gym but we're back to it i am literally just gonna take it a day at a time because um it's rough. But dentist appointment today, so we, I will be leaving work early. So that's, um, so that's a good thing. And I guess I'll talk to y'all on my lunch break. And yeah, that'd be it. So. I literally forgot to <laughs> vlog while I was having my lunch. But it's technically still my lunch. I have about 20 more minutes. Um, I guess y'all didn't really need to see me sit here and eat my salad anyways. But I'm about to touch up my lipstick really fast. I know I probably got lettuce all in my teeth. I had a Caesar salad. Um, and we go to the dentist this afternoon. On my lips today, I have on um, Impulsive by MAC and um, what is it? Cork Chestnut. I always get Chestnut and Cork. This is Chestnut by, chestnut by MAC. Um, I'm going to who's laughing like that? Uh, check my teeth. And I'm going to block my face. I stopped wearing, um, I stopped wearing foundation and concealer probably about, I want to say what, maybe four months now, maybe three, four, yeah, maybe about four months now. And I can honestly say that has been the best decision of my life. Like. No makeup, literally just blush. I wear blush, mascara, eyeliner, and a lip. And block my skin with translucent powder because I put on a bunch of oils in the morning. Oils in the morning. And sometimes my skin just looks a little oily. But other than that, um, that has been my makeup routine. So I'm just outlining my lips. Because I just had lunch. So, my lipstick, lipstick is gone. I'm gonna put on my lipstick.
only thing about MAC is a bit oily, which is not a bad thing, I guess, because it feels more hydrating than NYX. It's not a bad thing. It's just not as, it's not as matte. And then I'm going to go in with my translucent powder and just tighten up my oily skin because at this point it's, uh, it's a little bit later on in the day so my skin done got a little oily and I just get the oil off my face you can put translucent powder over your lipstick and it makes it more matte if you didn't know that and I got stuff in my teeth my little piece of mascara today has been tripping. I need to get different eyeliner because the one that I got by Milani, I love Milani. I love her blush and stuff, but the eyeliner I got, I didn't think it would matter. And I think it was like $7. And CoverGirl eyeliner, the one that I usually get, is either CoverGirl or Maybelline. Their eyeliner is like $12 now. And I was like, whoa. So I was like, let me get this Milani. Mm -mm, it don't work. It just runs right off. Another lipstick that I love is the Sephora one. It's just number... I hate that Sephora doesn't keep their names. This one is... It's just number 76. But this is the one. This is what it looks like. I, like, I love this one a lot. And that's it. So I pretty much just use my MAC powder as a mirror. But I don't even use this anymore. I don't even use powder anymore. I literally just use blush, mascara, eyeliner, and a lip. And that's it, y'all. And when I say it has been a game changer in my life, because I just felt like I was just becoming too dependent on makeup. Like, I just wasn't liking my face. That sounds bad, right? Like, I wasn't, not going to say I wasn't liking my face. I just wasn't liking, like, every time I had to get dressed and go out, like, literally to do anything, I feel like I need to put on makeup. And I was just like, mm. Mm. So, I was like, let me get back to my roots. And, because usually, because I used to not wear makeup just like this before. And then I kind of started having like discoloration and breaking out. So then I kind of started using powder. And then I kind of start, one of my friends at the time, she was like, try liquid foundation under your powder. So I tried that and I feel like it looked better. So then it just started building. Then I started wearing concealer. And I was next thing I know, I was just heavy into like wearing makeup every single day. And what I noticed is that as I'm getting older, my pores, I do not want enlarged pores. And I'm just like, that was the first strike. And I was like, I just feel like I'm clogging my pores no matter how much mask, best cleaning products most expensive pore stuff it's just not doing it and I feel like ever since I've kind of laid off the makeup my pores have been just a lot better I still have um like acne and like I have a breakout right here going on and a little bit of discoloration um but that's not gonna I'm like makeup is it is what it is like I have truly grown to love the true texture of my face like even to a point I was like I'm gonna stop wearing blush too but I like blush but that went on a completely different tangent than what I expected but yeah so me not wearing makeup has been a serious game changer I will say y'all teaching is not for the week right now it's really not like you hear a lot of videos you hear a lot of people talking about teaching you hear a lot of different things on teaching some of it is true some of it could be it feels like an exaggeration I'm not trying to take away from anybody's perspective because everyone really does have a different perspective everybody's in different schools everybody's dealing with different kind of kids but I will say it's not for the week it's just not and it's just scary to see where the classroom education is going because the kids are changing I will say that but okay I'm gonna go I'm going to talk to y'all when we go to the dance office. I'm tired. <laughs>
talked all that mess about about um, cooking, but today we uh, we're all here, so we're just gonna go to Pluckers real quick. But they're playing music, so let's go. Help. 